Christy Logan here, back Hi, with another video. Here. And Simon's here, yes. <laughs> Simon, do you want to say hi? Sickle Bills. Sickle Bills. Today is the year 2021, and we are about to play the Kansas City Chiefs, and if we win, we're going to the Super Bowl. So, I think we're going to win. We're all wearing our Bills gear here. Right, Simon? Yeah. Yeah, Bills. Go Bills. And, um, yeah, it's I got the almost the game right now. We have yeah. a little bit of time until the game starts. Stop. And we're going to do a record review. So let's jump into this. I got the America. Yes. So today, the sets we are reviewing are the three new the Lego America. Marvel mechs for this year. We have, who's this? Captain America. Captain America, good job. And that's Thor. And that's Thor, yes. And Spider-Man. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man, yes. Alright, so we're going to do each one. Simon, which one do you want to do first? Um, the Captain America. Okay, Captain America. Okay. Alright. So this mech is, Captain America's mech is the name of the set. Okay. And these mechs go for $9.99 each, so it comes like $10, um, which I think is a pretty good deal. And um, first we're going to look at the figure, then the build. So this is Captain America. Captain America. You can see. Got I don't have this figure yet, which is cool. Hey, Captain America out there. Yes, we'll go in his mech after. So you got his iconic A on his helmet piece, and you can see this is um a new piece hey, that was Captain America. Simon. Okay. And then here is the shield that was also introduced in the end game line. Oh, yeah. This is new shield. It's printed on a gray base. Which is better than how it was printed on a red base. My heart. Simon, I'm going to need you to stop talking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so no more. Otherwise, I'll kick you off the video. Yeah. Which I don't want to do. And then you can see he has some back torso printing. And he has a smiley face on one side. And this is the one I like more. A little bit more of a stern face with his chin strap. And then you can make him hold his shield. It's cute. It's Captain America. Simon, it's fun. Oh. So Simon, what do you think of this figure? Is it good? Yeah. I think it's good too. It's and then, um, so and it's really okay. Simon, stop. Okay. All right. This video is gonna be longer than I think, probably. It's and then his Simon, here. Simon, I will kick you off. And then his shield okay. comes off his hands, and then it attaches. No, and you got the mic on Simon, no. Hey, that's cool. Look, Simon, say wow. Okay, A4. No, no, it's not time for Thor. It's time for Captain America. Now you can see you can clip his shield on the back. Now, let's jump into the map Simon, I will kick you off the video. Fine. But he can stay on here, so. Okay. Okay, so you can see he's got... Um, the hands I think are good on this mech, probably the best out of all the mechs, because he's got a silver thumb, which I don't really know why, but you can close, you can close them all up to make a fist, so you can go and punch like a bad guy. And then what's interesting about this mech is all the other mechs have, like, shield designs on them, but his is circular, as you can see, and then it's got, that's a new printed piece right there. And then, Simon. Simon. Yeah. All right. I think it's time for Simon to go. Here you're gonna have a yogurt. Right. Yeah, you can come back at the end for the Daddy. shout outs. All right. Simon. Daddy. Simon will be back later for the shout outs. Whew. Okay. So back to the mech. You can see his hands. Very good detail. And then you can see that he's got like some white under there. And he's got some uh, blue shoulder pads, some silver there. Not really much else to say on that arm. And then these mechs have a lot of ball joints on them. So they're a little bit stiff, but it's also a lot of articulation you can get. And then if you're wondering how it goes in, you just open it up. And then there's like a little stand piece, and you just sort of put them in there. And then the mech can do some cool poses, which I'll show at the end. And then what's interesting about this hand is where it can hold a shield. And the shield can actually, this shield is printed by the way, which I really enjoy this shield design. 
and he can take it off and then just put it on his back. Which is something that a lot of Captain America sets that we've gotten didn't include. Like, there was no place to put his shield when he's not holding it. Which I like about this. And, so yeah, that's uh, the Captain America mech. I would have to rate this set an 8 out of 10. Just because it's good, I like it. Um, it's got, 8 out of 10 is probably the most I'll rate any of these mechs. But, good mech. Next one. Next is probably my favorite one overall, just because it doesn't have a lot of flaws in it. And this is the Thor mech, and they all go for about $9.99. So, it's about the same price on each one. And, first up, I'm going to show you what you probably want to see most. And this is what I, what I really bought this set for. And that's Thor's hammer. It's got some weight to it, it's big. But this set had decals, which I don't mind putting decals on. But they promised printed pieces for these sets, so kind of annoying. And then you can see you have those clear pieces with some decals on them. Um, that the head. And I did this. I had an open face stud and a regular face stud, so that way you could attach like a power blast to it. Which they just the, the pieces are pretty common, so you should be able to do that. And then if you're wondering how it attaches, there's a little slot in his hand, which just. And um, that is, alright, here it goes. I'm going to say it, you can correct me in the comments if I say it wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. And that's how you attach Mjolnir to Thor's hammer. And then you can see he's got some other stickers on his back as his cape. I didn't like these cape flaps at first, but I've grown to like them. And then you can see his shield design is that in the center there, which is printed. So I guess that's good. And then he's got like a Norse sort of ruined style belt, which I really enjoy. And then he's got really sturdy feet, which are also something that I that I enjoyed about the Captain America mech. He's got a nice sturdy feet. And the minifigure, if we can just take him out. I believe this is a new print, but you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. As you can see, he's got some lightning in his eyes. He's got that helmet piece. This is in a lighter color than it was previously. That's new. And I love the printing on this figure. He's got some amazing back printing. I'm pretty sure it's based off the game. And then his hammer can just <coughs> clip on there. Or he can hold it. Either one. So I'm just going to put him back in there. My favorite, I'd have to say, is probably the Thormac. Just because it's got the, li the li least flaws. All the flaws in the cat mech make up for the little figure. So this is a mech that was less than I expected. It's the Miles Morales one, and before I get into the details about the mech, I'm going to show you guys the figure first. Now, this figure is amazing. Now, I'm not a big Miles Morales guy, but as you can see, he's got some pretty good boots. Or like shoes, which I enjoy, I like jeans. And then he's got this new hood piece, which I actually haven't gotten until now. Because it's newer and it only comes in the hidden side sets, which I don't buy. And he's got a new face print, which just looks absolutely comic accurate and amazing. Amazing back printing. Like, look at that back printing. And these are, and all the flaws on the Mac make up for it in this minifigure, I think. And then, like, with this hood on, it just, it totally looks like the comics in the movie, like. That's perfect right there. Now, I'm going to do this review without him in the mech. Now, his shield design is his iconic spider logo. So, um, where should we start? Let's start with the hands. This hand is the hand that fires off a single web, as you can see. It's like shooting off like, like one little web. It's like spinning it. Or you can take off the web piece and then just have... I'm not really a big fan of a web shooter looking piece. And you can close it up to make a fist. But again, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna close. Cool. Simon, it's not done for the job yet. But we're almost done. So yeah, you can just reattach that web piece to his hands. Yeah. Thor Captain America. Yes, Thor and Captain America. So you can just reattach that piece to his hands and then. I, I like it like this. You get these web pieces for the first time in this new color. And it looks like he's like about to throw a web like ball or something at you. And then the feet or the legs. This part's good. I like it. But look at those feet. 
feet on max make the, they don't make the build, but if I want to put this in a dynamic pose, it needs a sturdy base, which are the feet. And these feet, you can make, I'm going to make a video on how to fix them and make them a little bit bigger, but look at them. Like, they can barely support the weight of the mech, but I guess it's all right. It's not a big deal. Again, you're, these are $10 each, so it's like not, it's not like they're a $30 mech where you, you should have high expectations. But, all right, the last thing we're going to do is the hands. And this part I really like, actually. So, as you can see, I've got it in, like, a Spider-Man position. And it's actually got a hook joint there, which it looks like he's about to fire off a web. And then you can see him, you can position it like that. Like he's about to shoot off a web at somebody. And then he can have it like that. So, the Mac's pretty good. And he's also got these, like, little things on the back, which are, like, web thrusters or something. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. This mech is probably my least favorite, but this figure is just amazing. Um, but yeah, best overall, would I would have to say the Thor mech, just because it's just best overall. But the cat mech has a lot of great details to it, too. But this one's nice, too. So overall, for $30, you can get all three of these. And I would have to... I see the values are pretty good. The Thor being my favorite. Simon. All right, now you're back for the shout -outs. Simon's also... You're back. All right. I'm Someone's also eating a snack right now. Oh, yes. All right, Simon. Yay, back. So Simon. Me new. Yes. So, Simon, who's this? What's that, Mac? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. That's Miles Mouse, not Spider-Man. Who's Spider this? Spider-Man. Who's this? Cat America. Cat America, and who's this? It's four. And then they also made another wave of sets for the last year, which I'll buy eventually in a review. So, now yeah. it's time for the shout-outs. Simon, who do you want today's shout-out to go to? Grandma, Grandpa? Mm, no. I look. What? I look. Whatever. I'm, I'm just going to choose who the shout out to go to, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So mm -hmm. today's shout out goes mm -hmm. to. It's mm -hmm. Captain America. The shout out's not going to Captain America. So today's shout Why? out goes. Why? <laughs> because Captain America's not a real person. Why? Because he doesn't exist. Why? Stop asking why. Why? I'm done with you, Simon. <laughs> okay. So today's shout-out goes to my grandma and grandpa, who are probably watching this video. They've been subscribed to my channel for a long time, so yeah. Um, there's a shout-out in the comments. I'm also going to leave it in the description. So, Simon, say bye. 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 See you later.